burned by the barbecue. A man suffering severe burns when the sunscreen he was wearing suddenly catches on fire. Living in South Florida, a lot of people consider sunscreen a daily essential. But one Massachusetts man says sunscreen comes with its own dangers. And as Simmons Blake Berman reports, the man has the scars to prove it. South Beach, popular for its sweltering sun and clear blue beaches. Sunscreen, a household necessity. Sunscreen. <laughs> Lots of it. No sunburn for me. Meet Brent Sigworth. He was enjoying a beautiful day of sun, fun, and grilling at his lakeside house near Boston. One second he was grilling, the next second, hard to believe. The oh, sun just lit up on fire everywhere. He says he suffered second degree burns from the flames of a grill after applying spray on banana boat sunscreen. I went into complete panic mode, just screamed. I mean, I've never. I've never experienced pain like that in my life. Sigworth was entertaining friends when he did something he says nearly killed him. Sprayed on the spray on sunscreen, then rubbed it on for a few seconds. And I walked over to my grill and uh, took one of the one of the holders to move some of the charcoal briquettes around. And all of a sudden, it just went on my arm. Up his arm, as if he were doused in gasoline. It was this banana boat sport aerosol sunscreen that Brett says caught fire, not in the can but all over his body. Just the way it burned, it went wherever the sunblock went, that's where it burned. The picture's graphic. Take a look at his skin, it's still healing. The worst part is around his neck. This is uh, 10 days later. These pictures taken in a hospital burn unit show the extent of his second degree burns. On his chest, his ear, and on his back, you can see the lines where he sprayed the sunscreen. And it says this product's flammable when applied to your skin or for some period of time after being on your skin. The warnings only read flammable. Don't use near heat, flame, or while burning. But nothing about once it's applied. And that's why he's speaking out. I had no idea and it was so scary and I just wouldn't want to see it happen to anybody else. Banana Boat released a statement saying, quote, at Banana Boat, we take these matters very seriously and will begin a prompt investigation as we continue to strive to deliver products of the highest quality to our consumers, end quote. Doctors say if Brett was on fire for only a few more seconds, he would have suffered third or fourth degree burns. He's hired an attorney, but says he's not looking for money from the company. Instead, he wants more warnings and testing to see why this happened. In the Plex, Blake Berman, Today in Florida.